Welcome Sagittarius. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's have a look here. We're just going to give these a quick shuffle and we're going to have a look at um, the next two weeks and what it is that is going on for you, what you might need help with, whatever. Okay, so the Enchanted Map is what we will be using and the Gilded Tarot. Gilded Tarot. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's have a look. First off, we have strength. Sagittarius, strength. Okay, some of you are balancing something. Um, it's kind of like you, you, you're carrying the weight of the world. Oh, I'm sorry, let me show you this. Okay, and you, you're very carefully trying to it's kind of like you're trying to maneuver your way through the forest while carrying this, this weight. And I just wonder if it's actually the weight of your world, potentially no one else's. But it's like Sagittarius, some of you are trying to grow something and you're very carefully and delicately trying to keep everything in balance so that it can grow, okay? Um, yeah, and there's this, it's not just taking strength for you to do this, it's also taking an incredible amount of flexibility as well. So, um, you, you're needing to be incredibly adaptable to the environment around you, um, this is very, very interesting because I really haven't got that from this card before. So um, I like it when new messages come out of the cards for people. Let's have a look here. The chariot. We have the chariot here. And, you know, this is really um, like triumph over difficult times. So I feel like whatever you're doing is working and you're going to overcome, okay, um, difficult things. We have the magician here as well. Two really powerful cards, right? And this is you kind of mastering um It's kind of like you doing this so that you can master a way to make things work for yourself so that you can actually kind of like move forward with things. It's, yeah, it's really, this is really interesting here. Um, wide open, okay. Wide open. I feel like some of you are taking some time to open up, to receive some, it's like maybe some of you are tapping into your higher selves, um, or it could be that you need to open up to tap into your higher self, okay, because the magician here has got this light coming down. We've got the five of pentacles here, okay, so some of you may not be, it's like you need to turn around and see what's around you. Maybe this is to focus in other directions so you can be open to more options potentially, okay. Um kind of been open to transformation because it's kind of like she's she's climbed to the top of this um little rock here but and then it's like the she can't see any other way it's as though there's a bit of a misconception as to what the top of the world looks like and kind of thing or what it yeah um for some of you you may be feeling uh, a bit vulnerable okay um and a bit maybe closed off um so this could be something that you need to get out into nature to um, meditate um to get back in touch with with the part of yourself which is more carefree okay 
page of swords okay so this could be you needing to actually There's some kind of truth that has come through and um, it's it's kind of like made you feel a bit um, like you're out in the cold, I feel. Like you, you're on your own. Like you're out in the big wide world all on your own. Maybe you feel like, for some of you Sagittarius, you may feel like you have no support education okay so you may be see yeah because i felt like with the page of swords it was like you're needing to learn how to use the sword so it's kind of like maybe you're needing to learn how to use your words in a different way this could be about educating yourself um in in a new way of communicating okay um could very well be about communicating with children um to support them in a different way okay it could be about um yeah because i feel like see i feel like with the magician here and with this education like this to me is quite magical like she's reading a book and a fairy pops up this could be about learning to use your imagination so that you can see things from a different perspective sagittarius yeah learning to see things in a brain new way kind of like shifting out of this mindset of oh i can't you know there's no other way i have nothing this this is the only way um it's it really is i think a matter of finding another way yep king of swords finding a new truth right really standing in that okay um There's something about solid ground here. There's something about needing to find. No, I'm not sure. I don't want to try and make it up when it's not coming through clearly. So tell me more about education. The high priestess, something is not clear yet to you. There's something not clear and that's maybe why I couldn't get the message. It wasn't clear yet. Okay, I feel like you need to rely on your intuition a lot more, okay? Um, because it's it's almost as though for some of you, you're wanting things to be... It's like I'm getting this feeling of like it has to be solid, it has to be shown, it has to be proven, it has to be in writing has to be this it has to be that in order for that to be true or in order for that to be accepted but it's kind of like this need to rely on intuition in order to move forward like there's this need to be flexible there's a real need to be flexible here and so maybe some of you are, are not being as flexible as what you could be or it could be that there are people around you or someone around you who is not being flexible and it's making it difficult for you to move forward um, because you're trying to kind of manoeuvre yourself around everybody and their opinions and their wants and needs. Um, I feel like for some of you Sagittarius, you need to put yourself first, which is maybe very hard for some of you, very hard. Rock bottom. It's like you've hit this brick wall. I know it says rock bottom, but it's not. It's like you've hit a wall. Or oh, there's some cracks. There's some cracks in the structure. It's maybe it's the case that you've built something 
um, and the cracks, maybe the foundation wasn't solid, you know. Maybe the cracks are starting to show in the foundation that has once been built. What have we got here? Eight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Interesting. Okay, so this could be... Why would that come with rock bottom? Maybe things happened so fast that there was not time to build a solid foundation. Maybe you've received word of something that has caused you to hit rock bottom. It could be that you thought you were at the Nine of Cups and it's all fallen it's not the tower though, but it's kind of representative of the tower for me. I'm not sure I'm even getting that right, to be honest with you, Sagittarius. It's action needs to be taken. Action needs to be taken for you to, to get this ground, to, to repair these cracks because it's kind of like I'm, I'm getting this vision of, you know, that um, that um, gap fill stuff that you, you it's like a foam thing and it spreads out and it fills the gap and it's real strong. That's what I'm getting a vision of in these cracks of putting something in. So it's like action needs to be taken real quick to have this, to, to have this nine of cups here. You know, like communication needs to happen. Things need to be communicated at the moment. It's like there's no communication happening. It's kind of like there's, everyone's just keeping to themselves here. And there's no communication. And, um, oops. <laughs> and it's kind of like to keep things together. There needs to be communication, and and it yeah, it's like it's like the the wishes, the dreams need to be expressed. It's kind of like no, I don't know. There's just this real sense of so, not. There's no solidar solidarity. There's only um, yeah. It's just like everyone's in their own little world. And no one's really coming together to communicate. Yeah. Wizard of Awareness. Yeah, see, he'd know what to do. We need the Wizard of Awareness to come right in and be rocking up and being like, okay, guys, here's what we do. Um, I feel like this is this intuition, though, that you need to tap into. Okay, there's this... It, because it's like here, reading something but knowing something else. And it's this inner knowing that I feel like you need to tap into. Okay. And I feel like... I, because I feel like the answers are there. And the answers potentially are within. So it's like the magician, right? Tapping into those and calling on those. This is real interesting, Sagittarius. Please comment down below to let us know exactly if this is how this is like panning out because it's kind of confusing to me, you know, and Leah. And if it's not resonating, go and have a look at your other placements because it might be something in there for you. Six of Cups. This is drawing on your... I'm noticing this cat here. I'm noticing this cat here. See, that I'm getting inner wisdom from this here. It's kind of like um, Sagittarius. The answer is really clear. But um, it's like it's so clear that you miss it. See, the cat reminds me of like it's hunting. And so it's kind of like being still and it's, ah, so maybe you need to be still and quiet in order for the answers to come to know 
when to actually act and and what the next step is right tapping into this wizard of awareness and like as a kid you knew how to do that there was that carefree kind of way of, of just being able to do that and for some reason now that's become quite fogged you yeah, see the seven of wands here it's like he's standing there having this battle right he has an out he has a way to escape but he's still standing there battling he's battling with wands but there's no people here so it's kind of like this internal battle sort of thing okay and I feel as though there's the it's kind of like that could be dropped it's like dropping the defenses and just being like hey guys like let's just sort this out here you know let's as it's almost like someone needs to spark up the conversation in order to get everything back to what it was that's it's almost as though it, that's all it requires and it's a little bit like when you were kids it's like making a new friend there's no like oh my god i can't talk to them because what if they judge me it's like hey do you want to play let's go play you know and maybe this is the case. Maybe this is the case of dropping the defences and just being playful. Being playful with each other, you know, and, um, and, and having some fun together. You know, um, letting go of the ego that keeps everyone in this space, okay? Ride the wave. Go with the flow. It could be going to the beach and riding some dolphins, <laughs> you know. It could be, it's just like this, having fun and, and having authentic fun, you know. Um, but also dolphins, you know, what do they mean to you? What's that energy there? You know, this could be about embracing that and just, you know, be very... Um, supportive of one another and, and family orientated at least that's how I see them and very protective as well okay so this could be about you needing to ride that way and and being the bigger person you know not not walking on eggshells just standing up and going okay enough's enough let's call you know a spade a spade and let's just get this out on the table and be done with it you know Five of Swords. This battle is done. The battle is over. Okay, and look, there could be some things that have been said and people have been upset and hurt. And sometimes we need to take accountability for that if we're the ones who have said these things. Okay, and it could be about being honest and just going, you know, that really sucked. Um, it could also be turning away from people who have done that to you. You know, and going and, and moving in, in another direction here. Because I'm looking at this here and these dolphins are traveling away, away from this, you know. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like that it's, you know, again, someone needs to make the move here. Okay. Um, yeah. Again, there's this... Yeah, there's something that's not clear either. But this is maybe where this communication comes in to make it clear. Okay, because we have the two of pentacles here. And it's kind of like this um, juggling act again um, of trying to juggle things to have everything right. But because, see, I'm just looking at him and it's like he's got his two pentacles here, right? And it's like he's going to go on this journey. Where is it? The ship. Is that side it's on? Yep. He's going to go on the ship, on the boat ride, right? And he's got his, his two of pentacles. He's like, which one shall I use? Shall I use this one or shall I use that one to pay for my ticket to get on the boat? And the thing is, he doesn't realise the boat's actually there, ready to be boarded. So it's almost like he's going to miss out if he doesn't turn around and be aware of what's going on around him. He's so engrossed in, in the pentacles and what's going on here and trying to juggle that that he's not actually aware of what's coming in. Okay, uh, and here's the dolphin here again. So yeah, riding this wave. So it's like you need to make sure that you're going to catch the boat. And the battle again is over because the rainbow's here, the, the storm is done, it's finished. 
okay um some of you could feel quite defeated but it's 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 this choice of are you going to sit in that energy or are you going to move forward you know making that choice to to make forward movement dry desert yeah see um you know looking at a different direction changing your perspective so that you can head towards greener pastures um actually seeing that over here there's some some clouds that are going to water the land um, but she's busy looking in another direction where she can't see that so again it really is about you needing to be aware of everything okay and um and 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 this could also be Sagittarius about being being accepting um, and at least open to hearing other people's opinions or their side of the story, you know, and, and not seeing that as, well, you know, what happened for me is, you know, what happened and no one else uh, gets a, a say. Um, you know that everyone has their own experience of what went on and everyone deserves to have that heard. Yep. Okay. Um, this is everybody's burden. It's not just one person's. I feel like it's everybody's burden. But there seems to be this misconception that everybody believes that they're the only one carrying this burden. But every actually, it's kind of like if everyone just communicated, they'd all realise that they're all carrying it. And, um, and, and that may help share the load. Okay. Um, hard work. This is this has been really, really, really hard work, okay, um, for everybody involved. All right. Um, I do want to say that this is another direction to go in, though. Um, that if if the work is just put into it, but this could be to do with this education, right? This could be about another direction, about educating yourself so that you can move in another direction, okay. Um, Letting go of the burden, letting go of the load, okay? And maybe just tapping into what it is that ignites you, what ignites your passion, okay? And just leaving all these here and moving forward, okay? Because you don't need to carry those anymore, but for some of you, it's like this choice of carrying them, you know? We have Gentle Gardener here. Oh, I love this. I love this, and this comes right under the wizard of awareness and this is about really Sagittarius what is it that you want to birth what do you want to hatch what do you want to grow um and I also feel like you're very supported by um your guides by spirit by your past loved ones and and so really going and tapping into that you know being open to allow them to step in to help guide you and you may not feel like you're actually walking this journey alone okay that you have that support and and this is also your inner wisdom that you can tap into into your higher self as well okay this is a really important thing for you to do because when you do that work the payoff is going to be phenomenal it's going to be bigger than what you could imagine like this you know this is helps to head towards those dreams um and i also feel like this is about you really nurturing and um in any passions any ideas anything that you want to grow nurturing those okay um because it's kind of like with this card here, there's this sense of, of trying to manoeuvre your way around so much so that you're forgetting to actually take care of your own garden. 
and so it's kind of like also the other thing is like it's like oh if I put my foot down am I going to step on one of these and squash them right it's like trying to just balance everything and um but I feel as though for you Sagittarius you're divinely guided and it doesn't matter where you place your foot because the, the whole terrain is different than this you're not going to put a foot wrong you're not going to place your foot in the wrong on the wrong you know ground like the ground is solid but it just doesn't look like it because you know you're filling it up with the the gaps the no gaps <laughs> you know like it's just like it's almost like just this little tweak is gonna be enough to get everything back on track Tell me more about Gentle Gardener for Sagittarius, please. And maybe it's about educating yourself to, um, to tap into this wiser self of yours, you know, this higher self of yours, this magician. Wow, okay. Interesting. Five of Cups. We have the Five of Cups here. Feeling like, see, this is again this focusing on, on things that are no longer serving you. Focusing on what you've lost. You know, these Three of Cups here that have been knocked over. And it's a lot like this card here, right? It's like, oh gosh, it's just so bad. And um, not realizing that there's a Two of Cups behind you. Okay. And it's kind of like, um for some of you Sagittarius this could be that you've um you know you've you've felt betrayed before you felt like you know you've lost in a sense and um especially with this card here you feel like you've lost but the thing is, Sagittarius, and in all this reading, sorry, I know I'm shaking the table and it's probably got, making you go, oh my gosh. The thing is, like I said before, you need to turn around. You need to become more aware of what's around you because we have the two of cups here. And, and, and the next card that has come up here is the four of wands, which is about building this family. It's like some of you feel like everything's over and it's all lost and it's all terrible but actually it's not as bad as what you may believe it to be and you just need to be a little bit more gentle with yourself and 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 maybe get out of that mentality of it's all doom and gloom because it's there's there's lots and lots and lots of good stuff okay and look at this beautiful beautiful home here like these the guys here they've met each other they're making a family they turned around and they saw the two of cups here okay and they took the time to be gentle with their garden okay they didn't beat themselves up they didn't berate themselves they didn't beat anyone else up for what may have possibly gone wrong you know they didn't do anything like that right they just became gentle and this is what it led to creating this beautiful cozy home here right doing that out of the wisdom taking the time to do that tapping into their inner selves tapping into their higher self connecting connecting with them so that who they attracted in were people with the same things in their cups right did we have that other card or was that no I don't even know. Anyway, I make such a mess here. I can't even. Anyway, yeah, home for Sagittarius, please. Home, tell me more. Two cards for home for Sagittarius. Thank you. Wow, yeah. Letting go, letting go of what doesn't serve you anymore, Sagittarius, okay? Um, because this is what could be preventing you from getting here letting go of that dropping that like gone and but obviously it takes work it's not that easy <laughs> um and and really again what are you filling your cup with because you want this 
and you want this, right? And you want the two of cups, but you're focusing on the things that have happened and, and the bad things. Um, you know, you're focusing on, you know, the fact that maybe you have been deceived and, and you know, someone's done you wrong. And so I feel like Sagittarius, it's really important for you to create this home to be dropping that and only focusing on this. Let this replace this so that you can get to this. Because look, she's standing over here, right? She's standing here ready to take her cup inside. And we've got the Nine of Cups here, everything you wish for. Okay, so there's a process to getting that. All right? Um, and, and yeah, it, it, it could be this kind of stubbornness okay, um, that not wanting to see things for what they are and maybe not wanting to see your contribution to what the breakdown is here. So Sagittarius, there's work to do, so hop to it. Um, but, you know, just be honest with yourself and it's okay to take accountability and it's great to take responsibility um, and that gets you further, okay? It's hard and it takes courage, but it is necessary and you will learn so much. Okay, Sagittarius, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.